it's good to be here. Today I want to show you the latest thing that I've sewn. I picked something that I've never ever seen before. As soon as I saw it, I knew I had to try it. It's the poncho on the front cover of this magazine. As you can see, I'm wearing my version. I'll put a picture in the inset over here of myself turning around and around so you can see what it looks like at the back. Even sewing the hem with the twin stitch was quite easy. I don't know that I'm a fan of the colour, but I think it's growing on me. So I originally made this pattern exactly as it's drafted in the Birda magazine. And I found that the sleeves were actually too big for me. So I've actually made them a lot slimmer and I've actually made them a little bit shorter. The reason being they were too big and far too long. And like this, I think it's a much better fit. As you can see, it reaches well to my wrist. And if I really wanted to, I could pull them over my hands, but I don't think I want to do that. I love this fabric. The fabric was, I think the fabric was um, said to be a lining material, but I think it's actually more like a polyester crepe with elastane. Very, very stretchy, very warm, very comfy. In fact, I have a quiz jacket made of the same fabric, only in bright red. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about was another pattern. I haven't finished it yet because I think I've changed my mind about the fabric. This is the fabric I had originally wanted to sew it out of. And you can't really see from there, but the fabric is really, really thin. And I think my underwear will show straight through. It doesn't really recover as well as I'd expected. Um, I think it's just not going to work well for the dress that I want to make anyway. I think the lesson that I've learned is when you want to buy something and you have something in mind, it's probably better to go into the shop and actually select it yourself because when you order something online, it's not quite what you expect. Nothing wrong with the fabric itself. It's just not what I expected. And to be fair, I probably should have ordered a sample to begin with. So the pattern that I want to make, I've actually already cut it out and I think I will still make it. It's actually this pattern over here. It was originally number 3B that I wanted to sew, but I think I'm going to make it out of a fabric like described for 3A. And the fabric they described for 3A is a cotton jersey with elastane. Now, if you've seen my video on batch sewing, the red shirt that I made was a cotton jersey with elastane. And I think that would be an excellent choice for that dress. So I'm hoping at some point I will go to the shop and go and buy some and um, hopefully I'll come back to you with what I've made. Another thing that I'm looking at making, I'm sort of caught between two and because I've made a couple of shirts, I really enjoyed making them, I enjoy wearing them, I'm thinking about making, as you know, a denim dress at some point, but I think first I'd like to make a couple more shirts only because I want to add some more to my wardrobe but also I want to have a go at making a dress and I'm wondering if perhaps I've sewn the dungarees if you've also seen that video I really enjoyed that and I think I've managed to master some of the double stitching but I think sewing something like this perhaps um, I will be able to master some of the other tailoring elements like the buttons for example it's got a lot of buttons on this pattern I don't know if you can see and normally when I make button, buttons on patterns, I tend to put them vertically only because it's so much easier to line up the um, line up the stitches on the, you know, when you're laying them out to lie them all out in a line and you just literally sew one, move to the next one, sew the next one, move to the next one. And it's easier to get them evenly spaced as well. Well, there's that pattern that I'm thinking about doing and I managed to find this on eBay. I love Tilly and the Buttons patterns, as you know. I've made a few of them and I've got all her books. I really wish she'd release another book because I really enjoyed those and I'd like to try some new things of hers. But I think I'm going to have a go at this and I'm in two minds as to whether try it, try, whether I try it in just a shirting fabric. A shirting fabric as stated here. So she says it should be medium and lightweight woven fabric such as cotton lawn, chambray, lighter weight denim, fine needle cord, double gauze, linen, linen blends, 
viscose or shirting cotton and I'm in two minds as to whether I should go with a shirting material with a little bit of give only because I've got another shirt that's a short sleeve and it's got a little bit of a stretch in the fabric and I've actually had it a few years and it's basically seen better days and I'm thinking about using this pattern to actually sew it to actually replace something in my wardrobe we all have that we all have that where we think what are we going to sew next and we get to a point where we've sewn quite a number of things when you're a beginner sewer you tend to sew things that you think will be fun to sew not necessarily what you would normally wear and I'm trying to start looking at replacing things that I actually wear maybe things that have seen better days or things that are similar that I would like maybe in another color or a slightly different design so that's where I am in my sewing journey if you have any comments or things that you think that I should keep in mind when I'm going to sew this dress or indeed this Rosa shirt if you can leave me some comments and let me know what you think have you sewn these patterns before and do you have any tips or tricks that perhaps I could use when I sew them I don't have anything more for you today I hope you enjoyed my video and please please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos I will also make a blog and the blog will cover most of what I've spoken about here in the video have a look in the link description below or you can press the button to um, to actually link through to my blog if you like see you soon happy sewing bye bye